Hey. <laughs> Didn't hear me the first time, huh? The way you were staring at your monitor there, it almost looked like you were hypnotized. <laughs> I asked if he wanted to get lunch together. It's just been such a slow day. I'm the only one there in my office, and looks like it's the same for you. So, I figured, might as well grab a bite together, right? Let's just sneak off to that Italian place around the corner. That carbonara is just divine. <laughs> Besides, I'd love to get to know you a little better. I always enjoy a little chance, but you've never really got the chance to really talk, you know? Come on, it'll be fun. You'll see. <laughs> I'm very interesting, I promise. And the food there is really, really good. Please, as a favor to me. Oh, there's no need to be so tense. I don't bite. Well, not on the first date at least. No? But... <sighs> no, that's alright. Maybe some other time, man. You know, he really did look zoned out there when I came in. You've got to be more careful with that, you know? Some unscrupulous hypnotist might decide to take advantage of you. Make you obey their every command. Mm-hmm. You probably wouldn't even see it coming. It's not like they just, I don't know, walk up to you, snap their fingers and tell you to sleep. <laughs> it doesn't quite work like that. No. They start by just talking to you. Speaking softly. Soothingly. Making sure all of your attention is completely fixated on one particular thing. Like on a screen. Or a pocket watch. Or maybe even their eyes. You must have seen it on TV. Somebody staring unblinkingly at a spiral. Or being completely transfixed by a pocket watch. Yes, they're quite common tropes. But really, spirals, pocket watches. <laughs> Those are the things that you shouldn't be worried about. They're too obvious to, you know, catch anyone unaware. I mean, sure, they work perfectly well on people who want to be hypnotized, but... Let's say I pull out a spiral right now, like, on my phone. You'd be on your guard, right? You wouldn't just stay relaxed. You wouldn't keep listening to my voice. No. It's impossible to hypnotize anyone against their will with just a spiral. <laughs> and, well... <laughs> who even carries around a pocket arch of him these days? But... Eyes. Everybody's got eyes. It's not even unusual to talk about them. 
it's remarkable how often the eyes are mentioned when talking about how attractive someone is. And keeping eye contact is entirely normal. Expected, even. Yes. Keep eye contact with me, please. Very good. I know it can make some people feel a little, uh, uneasy, but there's no need for that. Just relax. That's better. So, as I was saying, there's really nothing strange about looking someone in the eyes. It definitely doesn't immediately make you think of hypnosis. Even the thought of getting hopelessly lost in my eyes. That just sounds romantic, doesn't it? Yes. But some people... Oof, some people are lucky enough to be blessed with exceptionally fascinating eyes. Gorgeous, magnetic eyes that just draw your attention and pull you in. Eyes like that are just perfect for luring an unsuspecting victim into a deep, hypnotic trance. Eyes like mine. Don't you think so? <laughs> Look at you, all flustered. I'm serious, I want to know what you think. Just... Take a moment, and consider it. Look into my eyes, and tell me. Do you think someone could get hypnotized by my eyes? Mm-hmm. Let me give you a better view, so you can give me a more informed opinion. Just relax, and I'll let me sit on your lap. <laughs> oh, hush now. I know when you're too shy to say anything, but... I've seen the way you look at me. When you think I don't notice. I know. How you really feel about me. So, I also know that you don't actually mind when I get this close to you. Stop pretending that you don't want this. Mm -hmm. Just admit it. This is a dream coming true for you. Isn't it? To be so intimate with me. To feel my arms wrapped around you. And to see my eyes. From so very close. That's right. I've noticed why you glance at my eyes from time to time. Always looking away again whenever I meet yours. <laughs> That's all right. I think it's quite cute, actually. And I know my eyes are intriguing. It's only natural to want to have a better look. There's no need to look away from them now. You can gaze into my eyes for as long as you want. Go on. Look into my eyes. And tell me if you find them... Hypnotic. Yes. There's definitely something about them 
isn't there? There's something about my eyes that makes them irresistible. Uh huh. They are so colourful, and yet it's so hard to pin down what colour they actually are. There's so much complexity to my eyes. So much depth. I'll look a little deeper. There's no rush. Take your time. Just really focus on my eyes. That's it. Just relax and keep looking. They are incredibly fascinating, aren't they? Hmm. Entrancing, even. You know, I'm thinking my eyes could most definitely hypnotize someone. Someone like you. <laughs> I can tell you're being pulled in. But, you're not looking away, are you? Maybe you haven't realized what's going on. Or maybe you already caught like a deer in my headlights. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that it feels good, real good, to lose yourself in my eyes. It feels good to follow my instructions, to do what I tell you to do. Yeah. Just relax and enjoy this. Let go. Give in. Keep listening to my voice. And keep sinking into my eyes. Yes. I can see you're starting to drift away. Just like I knew you would. I'm going to hypnotize you, darling. It's inevitable at this point. Sure, there's still a chance you could stop yourself from falling deeper and deeper into my eyes. Maybe you could even manage to look away. But, you know that if you do, this moment passes. But I would get up and walk away. I'll laugh all of this off as a joke. And you never, ever get to lose yourself in my eyes again. You'd never get to feel this good again. And so, you just keep sitting there, gazing up into my pretty, pretty eyes, listening to every word I say, doing everything I tell you, and sinking deeper and deeper. Deeper into trance. That's it. I'm hypnotizing you. And that's perfectly alright. You don't mind at all. <laughs> Hypnosis can't make you do anything you don't want to do, after all. But... That's... Kind of the point, really. Because there is nothing you don't want to do for me right now. Is there? No. You would do anything to keep feeling this good. 
That's how hypnosis works. You decide to go along with whatever I tell you. Because it feels so very wonderful to listen to me. To let me take control. To be so completely focused on me. On my voice and my eyes. You don't even notice when your mind keeps slowing down, 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 becoming softer and more pliable with each passing second you spend gazing into my eyes. With every word I say to you, And, at some point, listening and following stops being a decision anymore. There comes a moment when your mind has become too mushy to do anything but absorb the words I'm pouring into your ears. A moment when all of your thoughts have melted and leaked out of your head. When the only thing that's left in that empty head of yours is the sound of my voice. When your mind is teetering right on the edge of consciousness. When all of your defenses are poised to come tumbling down. Leaving your mind completely open and vulnerable ready for programming. And that is when the hypnotist tells you to sleep. <laughs> Wide awake. So, what's the last thing you remember? Me telling you to sleep? <laughs> good. Very good. I so see hypnotizing you worked just perfectly. I told you you had to be careful, didn't I? Say yes, master. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with you. But first, lunch. And you aren't saying no to me ever again, darling. Hey guys and gals, um, Zan here, and I hope you enjoyed that audio. I know, it's like weird and we haven't done one like this before so uh, uh hope you enjoyed it it was a lot of fun for me to do <laughs> just fucking like fall on going like deep into the deep voice like ooh like talking like this and and um yeah really leaning into that seductive voice uh but yeah but it was fun um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know something a little bit different, but still hope it worked all the same. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I already said that. Um, how are you guys doing? I, uh, I'm doing okay, I guess. I've got a bit of a headache still. Still suffering from food poisoning, all of that stuff. Um... Yeah, it hasn't been exactly fun, I guess. Like, I couldn't get to sleep last night at all. And, um, like, I think I started hallucinating or something. I don't know, I just... I, I even had, like, a fucking nightmare last night or something. I just couldn't fall asleep. And I was up until, like, 4 a.m. Um, tossing and turning at 4 a.m. So that was fun. But, um, yeah, it took today off work because I can't I can't go in like this 
I feel like shit. I feel terrible. I can barely, like, do anything. I can eat, like, toast, and yeah, I can, I can only eat, like, bread, and that's it. I don't know, it's just weird. Um, anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Um, if anybody else do you guys do it? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, man, it is weird. I hope, um, this, I'm like, I, I don't know, like, how do you guys feel about hypnosis and all that stuff? I think it's, like, kind of, kind of hot, to be honest, like, oh, you can basically make someone do anything you want. Oh, that sounds weird. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I like it, I guess. Uh, I think being hypnotized would be, like, interesting. Or, like, hypnotizing someone would be interesting. I don't know, man. Not saying, like, I'm into it or, like, it's a kinky thing or whatever, but... But, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Oh, well. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, um. I don't know what to say, man. I guess it's just, like, uh, the longest audio we've done in a while. Well, this, this one was like 18 minutes long or something. And, um, that's pretty good for 18 minutes, I guess. Yeah. Pretty good for 18 minutes. So, I don't really mind, to be honest. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really done one of these long ones in a while. Uh, I... Do you guys like long, long audios or like short audios or medium audios? I know it was before, but it's always nice to get constant feedback, all of that stuff. Yada, 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 yada. And especially because we've got a lot of new viewers coming in now. Um, I was just wondering. Because, well, let's just check. Um, right now, where are we at? Fucking six? Oh my god, 6.8k. Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just really fucking happy, man. Like, you know. Um. Fuck, I don't know what to say, man. So I'm just, I'm just looking at comments. I just, uh, I'm reading a comment and it says that I should take a break from, uh, from posting daily. Uh, I don't know. I do, I, I like doing this. I enjoy doing this. It's fun. And it gives me something to do and not feel shit about in my life. So, yeah. Um, I guess it's one of the reasons I'll do it anyway. But, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> oh my god. I'm fucking sleepy. I've been waking up at like fucking 12. Like, every day for the past like 5 days or something. Like, holy shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do it. Oh, um, but like, holy shit, sleeping in... It feels like so good, but so bad at the same time, because you're like, oh yeah, I can finally get some sleep. But when you wake up at like 12 or 11, you're like, oh for fuck's sake, I just wasted half my day. I'm like, you know, you feel like you, you've you wasted a lot of your day and you're like, shit. How do you spell co-worker? Can you not... Co... Yeah, you spell it like that, right? Oh, that's weird. Uh, hip... That's weird, I'll Google, like... 
doesn't see coma because of why like that. Oh, well. sorry, I was just uh, typing stuff. But, um, anyway, I guess question of the day along with another question about hypnosis is, uh, if you had to be, would you rather be, uh, hypnotized or would you rather be the one hypnotizing? I don't know, it's just a nice game for fun, I guess. Um, because I'm a little fucking sub bitch, I'd probably say I don't want to be hypnotized. Yeah, yeah. Just because I'm a little subby wubby bitch. Um, you know, it's so weird, like, how, uh, how, like, deep my voice is and shit. And I'm, like, such a fucking sub, like, <laughs> genuinely. Uh, uh, another question, I guess, you know, fucking let's just pull this one in. Uh, are you, are you a sub or a dom or a switch? I don't fucking know. I just, I'm just deciding to. Why not? Uh, it's probably gonna get some really weird answers. I don't fucking know. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. All of that stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye-bye.